just going to give a quick review on the Nikon D3200. So here it is. This is the one I won from SLR Hut for the Candid Photo Competition. So as you can see, here it is. So nice camera, 24 megapixel. Comes with an 18 to 55 kit lens. Um, quite a nice lens. A nice solid build too, as you'd probably expect from Nikon. Um, just take the wee lens cap off here. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and turn this on just here. Just like any standard SLR. So the camera's now on. I'll just turn it around back and you can see the 3 inch screen. Uh, it's a pretty decent screen as well, pretty high resolution. It's great for video playback as well and live view. We'll cover that in a wee second. So you can see the screen, you've got three options. Um, you can sh shoot straight away for your edit photos that's already on the camera and go through the setup. So I'm just going to go ahead and select shoot. So this next screen um, is pretty good, especially for beginners on this camera because um, it, it tells you exactly what you need to do to start shooting. So I just need to extend the zoom ring and then the screen becomes active. So at the minute you can see the camera has all these different modes on top. Um, currently it's in, in guide mode um, and that's pretty handy for beginners um, because it gives you all instructions on the screen, screen on how to use it. So we've got other modes as well. That's your P, and your shutter priority, aperture, my full manual mode uh, for the more pro out there. Um, so we've got different modes, macro mode, sports mode, um, just different shots. So, And then you've also got full auto mode as well. So again for Pretty handy for beginners. So if you look at the screen, I don't know if you can see that there, but um, yeah, see the flash just popped up there because it's an auto mode. It's detected that uh, the light of the room needs a flash. But anyway, if you look at the screen, you can see um, different aperture settings, um, shutter speed, things like that. Adjust it adjusts it automatically. So if I turn the ring, you can see it. Given a graphical display of how wide the aperture is open as well. Pretty cool feature. Okay, for this one, I'm just going to show you the live mode. So, this button here toggles between. You can see you now you've got the graphical display. But if I press LV, which is live, live view, you can actually see what's. Uh, what you're looking at through the viewfinder on the screen. So, just want to show you how clear it is and how you can see um, the autofocus working. So, just use the lens cap. Not overly fast at focusing, but it's it's pretty decent. I think my hand's in the way there. So. Not bad from a kit lens, um, pretty good. It takes decent shots as well. If we look at the lens itself, um, if you look along the side, you've got your auto focus switch, the manual focus switch. So, I mean, this is pretty useful if you're maybe even shooting in low light conditions and you can't focus properly, so we just switch that over to manual. And that allows you then to use the ring to focus yourself. So switch that back. I've also got the VR switch, which is a really good tool. So this is like image stabilization. Um, so if you're shooting handheld, it makes it really easy um, to get sharp images without motion blur. So if I keep that on, you should see an improvement on your images handheld. Um, so this is an 18 to 55 millimeter kit lens. Um, 
f-stop 3.5 to 5.6 pretty decent lens um, I've tested it out with a few shots which I'll show later but overall pretty cool lens um, for a kit lens pretty impressed